picture this. In 1676, a multiracial group of poor and working class people came together and they literally set Jamestown, Virginia on fire. So at the time, this group of people, white indentured servants and enslaved black folks actually often worked together and they were treated very similarly, which is to say inhumanely. And so they came together to challenge those conditions. Now, why do I share that? Well, the plantation elite, they saw this and they knew that that multiracial group of people had the power to upend the system that kept the wealthy wealthy and they had to respond. So what did they do? They used racism to drive a wedge between people of shared class interests. They used racism to divide and conquer. But there's an antidote to this divisiveness of racism. It's one that's really important to me as a white anti-racist community organizer in 2023, and that is mutual interest. In other words, when I say mutual interest, I mean that for those of us who are white, we need to understand what the costs of racism have been for us and what we have to gain by being part of the struggle for racial justice. So for my research, I'm interviewing white anti-racist organizers about their shared stake in the struggle for racial justice. And what I'm hearing is more about those costs, about the disconnection to others, the lost sense of humanity, and the barriers to meeting their basic needs, but I'm also hearing what people see is possible and what can be gained when we come together in the struggle. It's a world, a vision of a transformed society where everybody has everything that we need and deserve. And this is important for me as a white anti-racist organizer because it informs our strategy for how we overcome that divide and conquer of racism and bring more white people into the movement, not just for a little while, but for the long haul. So maybe we are or we aren't going to set a town on fire, but like that multiracial coalition in 1676, our goal is to demand radical change. And when those of us who are white understand what our shared stake is in the fight for racial justice, then we, can commit to the long haul on that road to liberation. Thank you.